because some of these are like, oh my good god, there's animals throwing up everywhere. Oh. And he's just, he's just chilling out. Hey there guys, it's me Crafty Simmer and welcome back to the channel. Um, so it's been a while. Anyways, though, it is... Lexi has begun her day today, working on some of these poor little animals who are just sicker than- Oh, Hannah. And look came back, Mr. Dreamy. So, I mean, Le Lexi- oh, no, I don't know. Lexi no. definitely had a bit of a stressful day yesterday. Um, she came home and she just kind of stayed in bed pretty much. Um, so she's going- so basically- Okay, we have sick animals here, ma'am. Please do your job. Manage May. Um, responsibilities. Okay, so she has to treat patients, so she just has to do her dang job now. Okay, so now we gotta do the examination now. Like, oh my good lord. Come on, May, do your dang job. Stop standing there. Animals are sick. Alright. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead. We're actually gonna start focusing on our, on our little job here. I mean, like, there we go. Thank God May finally started moving. Because some of these are like, oh my good God. There's animals throwing up everywhere. Oh. And he's just, she's just chilling out. <laughs> okay. Um. What else can we examine? We can listen to his heart rate too, maybe. Oh dear, he's. Oh god, he's got rainbow poop. Um, I'm sorry, but right now we're kind of. You're Runka. On taking care of animals right now. We've got a job going on right now, okay? Okay. Okay, anyways, though, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go through the treatment. I can't remember who came in next. I think it was, uh, I think it was her that came in, Kalina. Ma'am, please do not. Okay, so now we got that one. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. We are going to not be a patient, I guess. Okay, now we can shift. Oh my goodness, there's vomit everywhere now. Help. Like, this place has gotten filthy so fast. Oh my lord. Yeah. I'm sorry, but when people freaking bring in their freaking animals, they'll throw up everywhere. I think now we might have to actually get a, another freaking hire. Um, just so that way we can have someone clean up the mess in here. Just because, like, it really does bring down the aesthetic. Especially really affects Lexi when she's working. So I think we're actually gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna do that too. Just so that way she's not cleaning up after everyone. So, oh my good god. Okay, so we are going to go ahead, we're going to go into personnel. Um, and we're going to select the sim to hire. Um, we're not going to hire the Rosa. Um, I mean, like, like, she's a good vet, but like, I don't know. I think we might hire... I don't know who to hire. Hmm. We can hire Justice, maybe. Yeah, we'll hire Justice. And he'll come over right away. And then we can get him to, like, work on taking care of, like, all the animals and everything. Just because this place is just so filthy. Okay, anyways, though... I'm like, oh my good lord, it's just it's so filthy in here. And now she and now like I can't like even greet the patients nicely. I have to like greet them horribly. So let's impatiently greet her. Please tell me that he's coming right away. 
There we go. Oh, right. There's justice. Okay, so justice, you're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set up his um his thingies. So we're gonna match him. He is going to. Uh, don't treat patients. You're gonna clean instead. <laughs> okay. And now we can start working towards better. Now that like, we can actually. Now we're like no longer freaking rushing to take care of these patients. Like, like no longer de dealing with like cleanup. So hopefully that now like kind of solves everything. Um, anyways though, now we're gonna begin our Marcus. investigation on a dock. Um, so let's go ahead and let's check out what's up with him. So I can already check that we're gonna listen to him. Yeah, we're gonna check out the temperature, we're going to do a fur inspection. There we go. Now animals can't be throwing up everywhere now. I don't even remember who was here at first. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that was fast. Okay, now we can treat him. So we're going to administer a shot for him. There we go. Okay. Now, I think it was her that was next. So it just kind of sucks that we kind of lost some ratings because of that. So... Anyways, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep green some patients. Like, holy moly, there's actually a lot of things going on today. Help. Oh, okay. Anyways, next. Next guy. That's a spar! I'm actually wondering too, like, maybe we can maybe. <laughs> Maybe we can actually, you know, make it I mean, like, <laughs> honestly, these people are so finicky. Where the heck is Yogi? Where's my patient? <laughs> Okay, good. And now he's freaking. I have lost the cat. I have lost the cat. Okay, now I gotta go freaking bill him. I'm like, Jesus Christ, cat. You freaking. Oh my god. This is a mess. God, this vet is just so. I mean, like, you know what? Though? It's actually our highest rating today. So, I mean, that must be positive. Okay, he's already left. Same. Okay. So, we're gonna just carry on them of our life. We're going to do... We are going to do the exam. We are going to check the charts. Um... What's one thing that's sticking out to me? It's not really showing any specific signs, I guess. But I mean, though, like, for me, this is definitely kind of Lexi's little escape because she's just, like, at least she's able to focus on something oh, that's not her own God. life. And I mean, like, that's just something that Lexi always kind of enjoyed about, you know, running her own business pretty much is that this is just, it's a little safe place pretty much for her. And she doesn't have to, like, worry about, right. you know, Ava well, or anyone else in her out. life, just on herself. Hmm. So... I'm not sure how this is going to affect her later on in her life. Like, I mean, like, she's already kind of having a pretty rough time with everything. Um, and just kind of like that news she received about her mom. Um, anyway, so we are going to continue trying to get her to, um... There we go. Okay, now we can do treatment. This is messing Okay, so this customer complained about the time, so we're actually going to go ahead, we're actually going to... Uh, I'm sorry, but I have so many patients there, Hunty. I don't know what you want me to do, darling. Okay. 
We're actually gonna also like look at our perk points too, maybe. So that's something we have to think about as well. <laughs> but like, holy crap, Lexi is like, like this is actually kind of flustering too, in all honesty. Okay, anyways though, we're actually gonna greet the patient. Um, we're just gonna see what we can buy here. So I don't- oh, it's- okay, I think we have so many freaking people in here. Okay, patient- patience would be good. And I think- so while well, having the inspirational speech will help as well. Okay. Devawis! Verpasa Masplima! Ducky! Alrighty. So I mean, like, for Lexi, this is just kind of a little place for her to just get away, focus on, you know, other- other people. And less about, like, how she feels and, like, all of that fun stuff for her, really. Uh -huh. Bye! Oh my good lord, there's so many animals here. Oh my goodness, he's so fast! Okay, we're gonna sue him. Uh-huh. He's so cute! <laughs> okay, exam, take temperature, um, fur and skin inspection. <laughs> so now everyone's- at least now there's like actual cross progress being happening here, it's so nice now. Yikes. Oh, and there's our mom. Okay. Oh, there's Eva. Oh, look at her. She's trying. Okay. Let's keep taking care of my patients, though. <laughs> See, I mean, like, even, like, you know, just, like, everything going on outside here. She doesn't have to focus because, I mean, look at the chaos inside. Okay. Now we can give him a treatment with a demist or a shot. There we go. Oh good. Oh happy. Yikes. Alright, I think we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just allow new customers from coming in because we're getting a lot of customers. Oh my goodness, is he leaving? No, you cannot leave yet, sir. Sir, I'm like almost here. Oh, okay, he's okay, he's storming out. Rip. He's actually storming out. Okay, that's a thing. Okay. I think she came here first again. I don't even know. There's so many animals here. Okay. So. But I am thinking though too is that we are gonna start maybe like kind of sitting down and doing like like mass recordings, especially when some um, everything kind of starts picking up again a little bit. I'm just like kind of have like a day where I just sit down and I record mass amounts of some videos, just so that way like we don't have situations where like I don't post them for like four months straight. It's like two months straight just because I don't have time to record it. Um, so I mean that's always a thought a little bit. Okay. Oh my good lord. Anyways, I actually think I'm actually gonna go ahead here. I am going to just stop the recording for a little bit and I'll see you guys at the end of the work day and we'll pick up from there. Alright, hey there guys, so I'm back. Um, it is a little bit later at night so I might be a little bit quiet. Um, so now, um, so basically Lexi has moved some of her, um, some of the shop's funds into her pocket. Um, and now she's just kind of enjoying a little bit of a good night out, especially away from the animals. Cause I mean like, like I don't know there guys, I don't know how she's feeling about this entire thing. I mean like she wants to go home and you know, watch Ava. By the same time, though, she, like, I don't know. <laughs> Ultimately, it's really up to her and what she decides. Um, but I think, though, we're actually going to go ahead here and we're going to send a text to Mr. Um, where is he? To Mr. Dustin. Because, I mean, like, even though that, like, he doesn't really buy into any of Lexi's advances just because she's not a flirty sim to begin with. 
Um, she's very much to herself. She's very much like, let's just face it, Lexi does not have any flirt skills whatsoever. Like this girl I cannot flirt. Uh -huh. it, it is like, like she is a tragedy when it comes to flirting. Um, but I mean, that's just kind of how she is though as a, you know, as just like, just being an awkward potato pretty much like that's just face it like Lexi just she does not know how to flirt like <laughs> at all it's kind of actually kind of tragic how bad she is at flirting um so I mean I mean she really does actually like Dustin but she kind of sh self, but she kind of shoots herself in the dang foot every time she tries she, you know she attempts to flirt with him so I mean you know, I think too we might even try to call him and maybe we can, you know, see if we can get his attention just a little bit more. Like like I said before, just like the afterlife can be tough. Come tell the local bar oh my goodness, it's ghost night. Rip. So the ghosts <gasps> guys we can see Brooklyn. Brooklyn might be coming. That's always fun. Can we see Brooklyn maybe? Brooklyn in her in her own tragic ways. I want to see the ghosts. Where are the ghosts? <laughs> Everyone chilling out here in their awkward nakedness. It's fine. Okay, you know, when I hear ghost, I'm expecting a ghost to pop up, but yeah, I'm seeing no ghost. So we're gonna sit down here for a bit. We're gonna see if maybe some ghost might come in. Cause who knows, it might, we might see Lexi. I mean, we might see Brooklyn. And um, Brooklyn was like one of like, I think one of my most favorite Sims. <laughs> uh, I made her for a get together and then she passed away in Logan Legacy. And she's not called. So, I mean, we could see her, maybe. I'm losing hope. But I mean though, Lexi was a very- I mean, god dang it. Brooklyn, it was a very a flirtatious woman. Um, as you guys know, she definitely had, um, a relationship with Brendan, and then she had a relationship with Julian, and Julian was just a guy who just wasn't wanting to commit to, you know, just really wasn't wanting to commit. Um, I'm not seeing any ghosts. that <gasps> what's wrong with Goldie honey her name's honey okay we're gonna go over there and we're gonna see what's up with, with uh since you know there's no ghosts coming to this party and it's just kind of dead here I'm kind of disappointed well where the heck is Dustin Very strange just to see Goldie hanging out here. Oh, Look at how sad she is. Did she like run away or something? I don't know, like... Oh? Where the heck is Goldie going? Okay, we're just gonna like watch him. Now she's like running away. Where the heck are you going there, Missy? Okay. And now she's gone. <laughs> Huh, weird, okay. <gasps> Yay, people are showing up! Mimsy! Yeah, death is showing up. There's death showing up now. Where is my girls? Are they gonna show up? Who knows at this point? <laughs> I mean, it would be nice if they showed up. Uh, 
wonder how he died. <laughs> I'm not too sure, actually. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm a little bit disappointed that, you know, Brooklyn and Brendan show up. Brooklyn or Brendan, to be honest. I was kind of hoping they would show up, but... Oh well. <laughs> well whatever, let okay. bygones be bygones, I guess. Um, so I think we're actually gonna go ahead. I might just go ahead and actually end off the episode here. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, well. Anyways, um, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this part, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and enjoy the Crafty Squad. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye there, guys. <gasps> Who's that? Bernard and Max. Oh, damn. Look at that. Oh, damn. That. X is here. Dang.